Yeah, so um, I graduated high school and then my mom passed away and I got super depressed, obviously, any kid would. Um, just, I spiraled out of control, got my like head over heels in anorexia. Um, I had to get treatment and all these things. Um, super just unhappy with myself. It lasted for a couple of years. Um, and then, I don't know, going through that though, fitness, it really, I don't know, really helped me. Like when I was working out, like my mind was clear. Like it was, I don't know, I just felt so good. She was such a, she was such a good mom. She literally was like super mom. Like she like would make all her lunches all the time. Like she'd take us to the park. She'd be working out. Like she'd take us to school. She would throw us birthday parties. She would like do this, do that. She was coaching all three of our hockey teams and like being the manager of them all. And then also just like being a freaking like super mom housewife. She was so great. Um, I don't know. <laughs> well, she used to throw me birthday parties, like crazy birthday parties where she would invite like so many, like 30 or 40 kids type thing. And she would have, cause I lived beside a big field. So she had set up like stations. Like it was so cute. She had like tug of war. She had like a water balloon station. She had like tie dyeing. She had like arts and crafts and like, I don't know. And then we all made Sundays and um, I don't, that was really cool because <laughs> she would do that every year. So I feel like that like really stands out to me. <laughs> well, I mean, like it was obviously like horrible um, at first. Like it was kind of like I, I was in denial about it and I was just like, I was just trying not to be upset about it. Just kind of pushing all my feelings away. Um, just almost pretending like it didn't happen. Like the whole thing never existed type thing. And um, I was actually like really strong for a few months after and then after that, it was just like, it all just hit me at once. And that's when I like really snowballed out of control and I stopped eating um, and I just, I was so depressed. I didn't even want to like get out of bed. Like all I would do was just sit at home all day. I would go to work, but I just had no, no personality whatsoever. Like it was like so brutal. Like I wasn't even like a person, you know? I was just like a robot, like struggling every day. Um, and then, yeah, I would just, I started, like I was obviously like so skinny and so depleted all the time. Like I, it like hurt to walk sometimes. I was like, so just, yeah, so, <laughs> so weak. Well, cause I like stopped eating carbs completely, right? Like I literally, like the only thing I would eat in a day is like egg whites and carrots. Um, sometimes not even carrots. I was just like so, so strict. And so, I don't know, I would just believe, I don't know even what I believed, but um, anyways, people kept telling me that like I wasn't eating carbs and I wasn't eating fats and things like that. And I was like, yes, I can, yes, I can. So then I literally measured out uh, one fourth of a cup of oats. So like barely anything. And I made oatmeal and I sat in front of it and I literally couldn't eat it. Like I like, there was nothing on it. It was completely plain. Like one fourth a cup of oatmeal. I think it was like 14 grams of carbs or something like that. It was like, I couldn't even like lift the spoon. Like I would lift it and then I would put it back down and I would lift and it literally took me like 40 minutes to like eat this bowl of oatmeal. That was like barely anything. And then I finally got it down and I just like started bawling my eyes out and went into my room and just like literally laid in bed the rest of the day. Cause I was like, holy shit, like that's fucked up. So that really stands out to me. Cause that was kind of like a moment where I was like, well, there's obviously something going on here, you know? Cause how hard is it to eat a freaking bowl of oatmeal? Um, and then my sisters kind of kept like saying like, you need to go see someone, you need to go see someone. And I was like, no, I don't. Like, there's nothing wrong with me. Like you guys are all like bullshitting and stuff like that. But I eventually like, after everyone was like really on my ass about it, I was like, okay, I'll go talk to someone. And then, so I started going into these programs um, for anorexia and then they wanted to send me into like a, like an institute for like four months or something where like at State Falls Hospital. So they wanted to just, I don't know, feed me, I guess, and just like have me as an inpatient there. And um, yeah, so that was hard to hear actually, because then that was kind of like real that I, there was actually something like kind of going on with my brain and stuff like that. Um, but then I, I don't know, like something really switched one day and I started really like trying harder and I wanted to, wanted to get better and I don't know I just wanted to make my sisters happy because they were so upset that I was so like I was I guess I was struggling so hard and I was kind of like killing myself at the same time so yeah I just 
started like reaching out for more help and accepting the fact that I had something going on and then yeah I started to slowly 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 get better and kind of start eating more and find happiness again and yeah well my sisters are like my best friends like they're like literally like they're I see I'm already like smiling like I just like think they're so great like I I'm so close with them like they're my best friends they're my everything um yeah I couldn't live without them they're like the reason I feel like I'm still alive actually because like I just wanted to be good for them you know what I mean if you're dealing with like any mental health issues like definitely accept help that's like the biggest biggest thing like I was so so stubborn I didn't want anyone helping me because I was so in denial that there was anything wrong with me but I mean if I didn't accept help I don't even think I'd be here right now so yeah like if I mean if all these people that love you and care so much about you are telling you to get help or telling you they're worried about you then you should probably listen because they're not they're not bluffing you know what I mean like there's actually probably something wrong so yeah definitely accepting help and learning how to love yourself because that's another big thing is obviously like when you hate yourself and you you're so unhappy with yourself you there's no way you can be happy in life you know you have to learn how to love yourself you have to like be accepting of yourself of your mistakes and I don't know just I don't really know how to explain it like you have to like accept self-love and like be okay with loving yourself you know like I I really was so against like any self-love and like this and that and thought that like it was wrong to like yourself type thing but then once I started I don't know like loving myself and just it you accept so much more happiness and you I feel like grow so much more as a person as well so definitely that too how am I now yeah. oh I'm so good yeah I've literally like never been happier with my life like it's just I'm so blessed to have like the people in my life that I do and I'm just I'm so grateful and so happy to where I am right now like I'm so healthy I'm just I don't know I wake up happy every day like I love my life it's like I don't know I feel like there's like nothing holding me back anymore there's nothing stopping me from accomplishing anything like I'm just fuck, I'm good to go <laughs> wish everyone would just love themselves the way I love myself now and just be able to be happy and yeah just get through any mental blocks that you do because I mean it's brutal 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 when you have them right but yeah, just accept help and love, I guess. <laughs>